Oh, you know, like you said, it's been, you know, just a crazy ride with, you know, with COVID and getting back and, you know, uh, getting shut down and pushing the season to the spring and then, you know, having basically spring ball in the fall and, uh, you know, plus all the other, besides the COVID, the other things that were going on, you know, with our, with our country and, uh, you know, with racial tensions and all that, dealing with that was, you know, was, was difficult and, uh, you know, had to, had to work through that with our, with our guys. You know, a lot of guys had a lot of questions and, you know, work through all that. And then, you know, probably the most frustrating thing uh, of all was, uh, you know, this, this from Wednesday to Wednesday, I mean, I literally spent every waking hour trying to figure out where to practice and how to practice in that place that we were going to practice. Uh, it, it was very, very frustrating, very difficult. Uh, but so excited, like I said, I felt the same thing that the kids felt, you know, when I saw kids li literally laying on the field because we had a football field to practice on, uh, on Friday, our last practice, we went, we had a practice on Wednesday and then we did, we did not have another practice on a football field until the following Wednesday. And that was because we drove up to Paducah and practice at two different facilities there. And so then we were shut down again on Thursday because we couldn't get buses. And Friday when we went out there, like I said, I felt the same way as our kids felt, you know, with them laying on that football field, you know, thank, thank goodness we, we're practicing on our football field, you know, so it's, it's exciting to actually, you know, uh, starting tomorrow, you know, have real live prep, like a real week, you know, Monday's our day off because of a Sunday game. So we're, we're excited. All right, we'll go ahead and open up for questions. Jeff, you want to go, you want to go first? Yeah. Uh, Dean, just in terms of, I guess the, the mechanics of last week, um, you know, it kind of had that week built in for COVID, uh, postponements and, and you guys had to burn it on the first week for weather, unfortunately. Um, I mean, was it, what, what made it, was it just simply you guys could not practice and, and what, what was, what made it impossible to play for you guys last week? Well, the, ultimately it was, uh, you know, CMOS field was not, you know, going to be ready. Uh, you know, I had concerns all that week, obviously with not being able to practice. I don't know if, SEMO were in, was in the same boat. I don't know what their indoor situation is like, but like I said, we practiced on, on a Wednesday and then Thursday, you know, we had to cancel because of the weather and we went Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, we, uh, we had practice in a gymnasium, you know, and then uh, that's basically what we did. And then we came around Tuesday and the, and the buses got canceled again. And, you know, we thought if we could get a Tuesday, Wednesday in, we'd be all right. The buses got canceled again. And, got a Wednesday practice and thought, well, okay, maybe we can get a Wednesday, Thursday in and be okay. And Thursday, the bus is canceled. So I don't know if SEMO was dealing with the same thing, but ultimately the decision came down to uh, that just, they couldn't get their, they couldn't get their field ready for safety for the players. Maybe they felt the same way we did. We had some concerns of safety for our players because of the amount of practice we had, but I'm, I'm not sure. In terms of, you've had to wait and wait and wait and wait, and then you think you're going to play, and now it gets taken away again, and you have to wait another week. Um, what was that like for your guys and, and for your coaching staff as well to once again have to push the pause button? Yeah. You know, the ki kids are more resilient than the coaches are, I think. I think I had to, you know, worry about putting some of our coaches on suicide watch, not having a football game for as long as we've had it. But, you know, the kids have been really, really resilient. You know, and we've talked about that since the first – you know, go around with COVID. You know, we talked to them hard. One of our leadership training things is, is uh, from a from a from a book, uh, good to great about the Stockdale, you know, paradox or uh, paradigm. You know, which is about a a uh, a guy that was in uh, the Hanoi prison camp. You know, first during Vietnam and how he, you know, survived and kind of his looking back. You know, how was it that he survived and other people couldn't and you know, his deal was that he faced the brutal facts of reality. He didn't try to wish it away or hope it away, hope it away or say it's going to be better tomorrow. He said, no, I'm in a, I'm in a prison camp and, and that's the brutal facts of the reality of my day. And I'm going to, I'm going to get through it. I'm not going to lose an overriding hope that sometime, you know, in the future I will get out, but I'm not going to say I'll be out by Christmas or say I'll be out by Easter. You know, he said the people that did that were the people that died. And, you know, so we've been harping on that a lot with our kids. And I think they've really, you know, bought into that, that, hey, okay, this is what it is. They said we can't, you know, practice on the field today. We're going to practice in a gym. That's the brutal facts of reality. Let's, let's practice in this gym and get as good as we possibly can get, you know. So I think they've done a 
you know, tremendous job of all the delays and handling it and really attacking the day. And maybe we won't know the answer until you guys get on the field, but are you ready? Are you guys, uh, you know, between the, you're trying to get ready for a season in the middle of the winter and then the winter storm hits and all that, are you guys ready for a game? Well, we need this week. There's no question we need this week after what we went through, what we went through last week. And overall, are we ready? You know, uh, I didn't watch a game. One of our assistant coaches watched, uh, I think it was North Dakota State, Northern Iowa, uh, or maybe a South Dakota State, Northern Iowa. And that's two really good football teams in a really, really good conference. And, uh, and they've got, you know, heck, they've got indoor facilities, from, from what I understand, you know, both of them. Uh, and that was the thing that he said was glaring of the game is neither one of them were in game shape. And, uh, you know, I think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody uh, after this first game that says, yeah, wow, we were, we were physically ready to play this game. We were in great game shape. I bet you nobody comes out of it saying that. So, so there's no question it's a concern of mine. I'm sure it's a concern of Jason's as, as well. Pandemic aside, uh, as a first-year head coach in a new program, how much do you rely on game film from the past? Well, you know, you, you, you've got you to gotta start there. I mean, that's, that's what you got, you know. So, I mean – Will there be, you know, tweaks to their offense and defense? Maybe, you know, will there be tweaks to their special teams? Maybe, but you got to start on, on what you have, you know, and then you can, from there, you can expand to some what ifs, you know, if somebody joined the staff and they're from a, a, another place or, you know, that, that type of thing. But, you know, you got to, got to start with what you got. Uh, in terms of Martin, what are you uh, most interested to see this weekend with how you guys handle it? Well, I mean, they're, they're, you know, offensively, they're a very balanced, you know, football team. You know, Coach Simpson's always been that way. Uh, you know, you got to stop the run. I mean, he is, he is uh, superb in his uh, passing, you know, game, his approach, uh, his reads, you know, how he sets everything up in the passing game. But, but you know, we've got to stop the run first. You know, if he's got both, you're, you're in for a long day. And, you know, 23 is a really good running back. He runs really, really hard. Uh, and he can hit the home run, you know, so that's a little scary. Uh, you know, 18, their quarterback is young, but, you know, he seems to really understand uh, Jason's uh, system, the scheme, distributes the ball, you know, really well, gets it to the right guys. You know, one of those guys being number 15, I mean, he's a big play guy, 20 yards a catch a year ago, and they're really good offensively at protecting the football. So, um, you know, our defense has their, has their hands full there. And then, you know, defensively, you know, they stopped the run. You know, they, they uh, FCS opponents only average 125 yards a, a game versus them, which is very good up front. They're very physical, very aggressive, uh, very disruptive, uh, you know, and it starts up front with their nose guard, 47. That kid's a phenomenal player. Uh, and they defend the pass, you know, as well. You know, they got a really good safety, number 17. They're good in the back end, you know, also. And, uh, you know, they're, they're going to, they're going to create issues, you know, for us offensively. So, you know, we got our hands full offensively, defensively. Special teams are, you know, really good. I prepared against them a year ago, uh, you know, when I was at Kentucky as special teams coordinator, and they're phenomenal on the special teams as well. So, I mean, they're they're fundamentally sound and a really good football team. And, you know, Jason Simpson's a really good football coach. And, uh, you know, they're going to have their guys ready. So our prep has to be point on. My last question, just in terms of of you guys, and what what is your uh, what is your biggest strength? Do you think right now? What 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 are you guys going to lean on uh, rolling in there this weekend? I think our biggest strength is they have no idea what we're going to do. You know, I mean, you, you asked about where do we start? We start with last year's film, you know, but where do they start? You know, I think that's probably our biggest uh, biggest help. You know, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to blocking and tackling and you know, who protects the football and who stops the run and that kind of stuff. But I think, you know, going in game one, uh, you know, that that's an advantage for us. Uh, I think it probably would have been negated if they would have, you know, played their game and they're in game two and we're in game one, you know, our advantage of them not knowing what we're going to do with them having a game under their belt. But I think that that helps us, gives us a little bit of a little bit of an edge there of, of them really not knowing, you know, what to prepare for, for us offensively, defensively and special teams. Is it when you, you're prepping for a team and then all of a sudden Mother Nature says, nope, and then now you got to go into another week? 
how difficult is that? I don't think people understand that the process of that because you got to have a mentality of opponent, and then it's like now you're moving on to the next without even playing a first game. Yeah, yeah, we went from uh, you know one practice preparing for SEMA to literally the next practice preparing for UT Martin, and we were you know installing our our punt return stuff. And I was talking to uh, you know I was telling telling a kid you know what what his technique was going to be you know uh, on this certain call you know with our punt return and. And he looked at me really funny, and I'm like, "What? What? What do you? <laughs> what's? What's the problem? You know, I thought I explained that pretty well, you know." And uh, he looked at me, and said, uh, "Coach, that's nothing like what you know you told me yesterday." And I'm like, "Oh, like, uh, yeah, okay. This is a different team. <laughs> you know, we've we've got a different plan, you know, for for them." So, uh, just when I realized what that look was, and he explained that, uh, you know, why he didn't understand what I was telling him. Uh, yeah, it made me realize, yeah, it, it's, it is a little bit of a challenge to totally switch gears and say, hey, okay, all that stuff we talked about, you know, put that on hold and here we go. You mentioned having this conversation with, with, this, with this young man. So with, I think you answered Jeff saying that for this week, you've got film to go by. They don't know much about you, but for – your guys in the conversation that you just had with, with with one of your players is there a big change like did you have to like re-scrap everything like i mean we're all wondering what you're going to look like so <laughs> if we saw it sunday and then saw it this week would it have been completely two different teams like what is that mindset what is the preparation in well that? yeah there there is there is uh variables that stay you know if you're a down four team, you're a down four team. If you're a down three team, you're a down three team. You know, uh, if you're a three three, you know, stack team, you're a three three stack team. So there's, you know, those those variables, you know, stay. Uh, and people have variety of packages, obviously, but you know what you're facing, you know, changes. Same thing offensively. You know, if you're a triple option team, you're a triple option team. If you're a run and shoot team, you're a run and shoot team. So the, you know, those variables you know, stay, but based on what the other team's doing changes how much of you do one thing, you know, versus another. And also, you know, what's your, what's your scheme? You know, you may have a, a combo call, you know, versus a down four team that you're playing. And if it's a, you know, three, four team, you, you've, you've got a, a solo call or, you know, you, you're, those types of things change. So the plays and the defensive calls you're running, yes, they stay the same week to week, but there are adjustments based on what the other team's doing. And the last thing for me, um, this will be the first week for, for you guys. Uh, what do you want to see out, out, out of you guys? I know you, you, you mentioned about some adjustments and, uh, depending on the opponent and stuff, but for week one, just for, for you guys, yourselves, what do you want to see out of it, um, especially as in – in the early beginning of the game and then as the game progresses, what do, what do we expect to see, I guess, I guess, out of you guys? And what do you want to see? Yeah, the thing I want to see our kids is, is to play, you know, fundamentally sound football and play really, really hard. You know, I want to see our kids fight from, you know, from the first first whistle till the last. That's, that's the thing that I want to see is just them go as hard as they can possibly go uh, from play one to play 80. <laughs>